Hi, I'm going to show a simple way of writing automatic browser tests that are highly maintainable. The tools needed are Robot Framework and its Selenium 2 library and a text editor. Robot Framework itself is a generic, keyword-driven test automation tool that can be downloaded from robotframework.org for free. Let's start with the settings section. First we have to import the Selenium 2 library that can be installed with PIP. The test case itself will be about googling DevOps and trying to find my company EFI code from the results. I'll write the test case using plain English. For the test to be maintainable, I'm first writing a generic googling keyword that takes the key that we're searching and the wanted results as arguments. First we have to browse to Google. I'm going to write a separate keyword for this, which uses some global variables. The Selenium 2 library contains a lot of ready-made keywords, for example the open browser keyword. Let's add the global variables to the variables section. The default browser of Selenium is Firefox, but I'm going to use Chrome here instead. That can be easily switched to for example IE or Safari later. Let's assume that I'll write more of these tests later, so I only want to browse to the homepage once before running the tests. This is what suit setups and suit teardowns are for. They will be executed only once, before and after all of the tests have been executed, respectively. I also want the browsers to be closed after the tests. Next to the test case itself, we want to input some text to the search field of Google. Let's check the ID of the search field using the inspect element feature of Chrome. The ID seems to be GBQFQ, so I'm writing ID equals GBQFQ as the first argument and the search key as the second. We might even want to click the search button for the test case to be faster, so let's check its ID too. I'm using Selenium 2 library's click button keyword to click it, and finally the wait until page contains keyword to confirm that the right result was found. All of these keywords are documented in the Selenium 2 library documentation. Now back to the test case. Let's call our generic keyword with two arguments. We're googling DevOps and hoping to find EFI code from the results. Let's execute our test suit from the command line. If the text that we're trying to find doesn't appear in 5 seconds, the case will fail. And as we can see, it didn't appear. Let's open the log file in a browser for more information. The setup and teardown phases were fine, but the last keyword failed. Let's see the screenshot. Eficode.com wasn't found in the results, but Eficode.fi was instead. Let's go back to the editor and fix the test case. and execute the test again. This time everything went smoothly. And also the log seems to be green.